Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, uh, we're doing uh, kind of like what everyone's asking for or what is popular on my channel, which is Sony Vegas videos. And so today we are gonna be learning how to use Sony Vegas like editing. And so this is like for like beginners. Right now I already have something up in here. So this is a video I did. Uh, so every time when I start like a new video, I always, I always create like a new one. So I always hit file then new. I always want like my project, you know, to, to have all the settings like laid out. So if I'm gonna be doing it in 60 uh, frames per second, uh, I'm gonna change the frame rate. So most cameras kind of default to 60. If not, they don't, they default to 30. So just know like what frame rate, frame, frame rate you are shooting at. So also, if you're not sure, if you drag and drop your file, so let's hit new. If you drag and drop your file, so let's go put some videos in the project media folder. So right here, this is uh, your project media, like right here. So you can switch between, so explore. This is where you can go through your desktop and then you can get files that way. Uh, these are your transitions, um, any video effects right here in this tab and media generator. So I mainly only use between video FX transitions a little bit, um, but I usually kind of keep everything um, I mainly use dissolve for all my transitions. So uh, yeah. Back to project media. So this is where you're gonna import your videos and stuff like that. So uh, let's go. You can either drag and drop or you can manually like go through their settings. So you can go either this way to import media and then you can select like what you want. So, so this is like a Squirtle. And so you can say yes or no. So I always say no because I wanna be exporting this into 1080p. So if you hit no, then it's gonna kind of force it into a 1080p. Let's hit uh, yes so you can see what, what it's gonna look like. So the difference that it did is that it now changed our project to a 200 by 200 by 32 by blah, 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 blah. You also notice that the quality dropped a lot, right? So this is at full. So um, yeah, so that's just one thing to notate. So let's go watch this GIF. Um, Let's see, so I was talking about settings. So let's go back to my settings that I like. So so I always keep 3D mode off. I leave the uh, pixel uh, aspect ratio as one. So I leave pretty much everything default. Um, one thing I always change is like full resolution rendering, rendering quality. I always put that to best because you always want the best quality when you're rendering. And I leave this as Gaussian blur, um, smart resample, I disable that. And what else? I leave this as 8-bit audio. I leave the, all of these pretty much default. So this is good, this is good. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much how, how I like to do like my uh, my format. Yeah, and then there's a box right here. You can select start all new projects with these settings, you can hit yes. And then let's say in the future you want to change those settings, then you can go ahead and do that. And uh, you know, if you're doing like these videos for like YouTube, um, one thing I always mention is that if you want, so YouTube always like de decompresses like the, uh, the format. So that means like you're going to lose quality when you export it or no. Yeah. When you ex, when you import it into YouTube, YouTube decompresses your video a little bit. So 
pro tip is if you want to render, you need to make sure you have everything selected. So I have everything selected. So you can see this, this is called the loop region. So you're gonna see that name come up a lot. So if you go over here to render as, sorry, we're jumping around everywhere. We haven't even gotten to editing. We're just skipping right to rendering. Rendering is like you're done. So maybe I should have did this last, but right here, you're gonna be like, oh my God, there's so many different like ways I can render, but I'm gonna show you an easy way. Just click on render options and then select loop region only. And then up here, you're gonna select uh, match project. So match, let's do it, match project settings. So if you match it with project settings, then it's gonna pretty much show you everything that's uh, based off your project settings, or you can do it off of frame rate. So if you base it off your frame rate, then you can um, you can render it to uh, 4K, which is right here, and then you can render it either to 1080p. So this is one of the things I recommend because if you render it into 4K and then put in YouTube, then it's gonna be like kind of between 1080p to 4K. So that's just like a pro tip. Anyways, let's hit cancel. All right, so back to editing uh, right here. This is technically like a video. So let me import a video file because you're most likely gonna be editing videos. So let's grab like a video. So this is like a video I already did. So you gotta let it like kind of like buffer. So it's like loading the whole file. So uh, just give it a moment and so these are kind of like important things to kind of uh, like notate is uh, this is going to be your video and this is going to be your audio. And so um, if you ever want to add like another layer, so let's say you want to add another layer, this you can move it wherever you want. So uh, this one is going to be a video like or uh, audio audio track so let me add an audio track so I have an audio track right here so you just right click over here you can even right click over here and then you can put insert audio track so I just put it I just right click over here so I don't do anything weird um, and then you can copy in so I have royalty free music so you can copy that in over here then boom you got your your music going but then let's say oh no um, the music is way louder than uh, what's playing so also if your computer can't handle um, quarter at half or quarter at best you can go to good and then put it at full so it doesn't lag okay it's still kind of lagging it's because I'm like uh, using OBS and then at the same time I'm rendering, I'm like editing a video so my computer is going crazy. So, see, that way it's like, now the music isn't overpowering like the video and you can keep tweaking it to your liking and that's just like a, a thing that, you know, you do. So, uh, once you play around with it more then you know how loud you wanna have your music Obviously, if you're doing like some B-roll shots, then you can make the, the music louder. And what I mean by B-roll is like, you know, kind of like slow-mo shots. Like I can find example of doing some B-roll. Inspiring videos, my babe trying to look cool, so. Do a B-roll example. So, got my model. I'm gonna change the quality because my computer is going crazy. So, you can make, like I would make like the music louder in this part. And obviously like the, it's like very shaky. So I would select 
parts where it's like more let's try this so I'm trying to make some b-roll right now so uh, what I would do in this case is because it's so shaky let's see you can see like there's like some shake and stuff in the video uh, let's kind of do that I'm gonna delete that part and then add like a half a second fade so half a second point three all right so to make it less shaky you can hit control and then right here so what this is doing is it is slowing down the video um, but the thing is that you don't want to slow down the video too much where then it starts to look really unnatural but you can slow it down to the point where it still looks natural but then there's going to be less shake so let's try that to see how it looks so that looks a lot better but if you do it too much it's going to look like this so let's try it very over exaggerated slow down you can see it's kind of looking like really choppy so you don't want your footage to look very choppy and like you gotta find like the right medium so and that's what that's like the beauty of like editing is you know you just keep experimenting uh, until like you find like what you like fine-tune it um, also some other ways is that so Sony Vegas 18 and they have like their own video effects which is like called um, uh, what is it called it's called stabilize so we can try that so let's put this kind of like around all right put it back to normal speed and then let's copy this so we can see it at normal speed and then stabilize so we're gonna go to the FX so we're just gonna click right here this icon right here which is the FX and then we're gonna go look for stabilize see they even have slow motion so you can add like a slow motion if you want or you can do it the way that I was showing you all right so we're gonna go to stabilize where is it oh it's right here I'm so blind so it's like kind of near the end it's called video stabilization so you're gonna hit OK to that and then um, you can put basic professional expert level so maybe you could put it to professional where it's gonna be doing um, accurate or you can set it to fast so we're just gonna try like these basic uh, professional accurate translation plus rotation plus scale. So let's give it a go. So now you gotta let it, so it's gonna be like rendering. So just give it a moment to like render. <clears throat> All right, let's go take a look at the two videos. One video is unstabilized, second video is stabilize using the video FX effect so let's give it a go and then see which one looks better obviously the second video was way more stabilized but you can kind of see like it looks very like kind of watery I don't know if it's just like my computer but maybe after you render it maybe it looks better oh oh okay I think it was just a quality it was in so once I put it to preview half it looks amazing so let's let's give it a go again see look how like smooth that looks so it pretty much like it like removes all the shake it's kind of like you're recording with like a gimbal so and you it's it's so amazing like how much like you can do in post like 
I want to say like Sony Vegas, like 18 is like really good at um, doing like digital stabilization without like kind of reducing the quality of the video. So um, I hope you utilize that because it is really amazing. Um, I want to say like when I first started using it in Vegas 15, it was not that great. It did an okay job, but I want to say comparing like 15, when you go to 15 to 16, you don't see a big jump, but I want to say 17 to 18, you see a big jump in how they do like the video stabilization. So uh, kudos to uh, Vegas on doing a good job on the video stabilization. Um, there's one thing to know is that one thing you could kind of tell, but you have to be really looking for it is that you can see that it zooms in. So like clicking in the middle of this track and middle of this track, you're it's cropping the video in and that's how it's able to um, reduce the handheld shake is by cropping in the video and then, um, I don't know. I don't really know, but I know it's doing some sort of scaling factor. So, and then it's adding, I don't know, maybe some other effects, but at least that is what I understand is what's going on is that just realizes there's gonna be a crop that's gonna be applied to your video. So uh, just keep that in mind. So uh, I would definitely play with it. Maybe you can try using basic, then professional, and if you really want to get into it, you can try expert level, which is like where you're controlling absolutely everything. So um, that's definitely a lot of fun to play with. For me personally, I'm probably just going to leave it at basic or professional, at least for the type of videos that I shoot. So uh, I just want to share that before moving on. But uh, I feel like I went really into that part. Um, and uh, please make sure when you're uh, if you enjoyed this video uh, so far make sure to like comment below on any video suggestions and then uh, make sure you subscribe for future videos all right so moving on um, some other things is so now that we have this track right here uh, added you can um, do things like adding text boxes that's like one thing is um, that I do a lot that I don't think about is I add a lot of text boxes and um, it's really easy you could just right click uh, on your track that you want to put it so you would select here if you want it here but if you put it here then it's gonna go over it well or it's gonna e it's gonna overlap I don't know what happens if I put it here <clears throat> add text box where is it oh it's not gonna let you so you have to select it in an empty space so I always right click and then I go insert text media. So you're gonna do this and then it's gonna, it's always gonna give you like a default of your, uh, it's just gonna give you like a default. So uh, let's see, uh, da, 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 da. So let's see, we're gonna call this, What are we gonna call this? No effect, no stabilization. And then right here you can select your type of text. And um, how you can see how it looks is kind of like right here. So you can see that uh, where it's gonna be positioned is gonna be right there. So if you want to move it, you can go to location and then you can drag it down So, and then we're gonna change the size. So, probably put it to 24, no, maybe 36. So we're gonna put it there. And then if, and then uh, also you get some animation effects. So you can click this right here, and then you can um, maybe select like an effect. So maybe I'll select one. So let's do maybe maybe a scroll. 
So we'll put it right here. And then we're gonna add another one to the right called width stabilization. <clears throat> Change this to 36 so it's the same size. And then we're gonna move it down to the bottom. And then we're gonna add scroll or maybe we'll do fly in float and pop all right so let's see how that looks maybe it's too fast you could change the speed because that's like ridiculously fast so let's go to so we got the animation let's click this which is match event Match event length. Let's see if that works. Ah, oh, Jesus. Not doing what I wanted to do. Match event length. Okay, that one turned out fine, but this scrolling one is wild. You know, if it doesn't work, sometimes you just gotta improvise. So what I did is I just took both of them and I just stretched them out. So let's take a look at the end product. Boom. All right, and that's pretty much how you add some basic text effects. If you want me to get more in depth in some crazy text effects, I can get into that. Do I have anything crazy? I could definitely look into it. But um, if you want me to make a part two, depending on how well this video does, I'll make a part two or like a follow up or something like that. But you know, as always, uh, let me know if this video was helpful at all. I definitely enjoyed uh, making this video, so definitely let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this. And other than that, I will see you guys next time, and peace.